building a home with his own hands. That was the dream of a man named Ernie Lawrence. But symptoms of ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, made it difficult for Ernie to hold a hammer. The disease was also making it hard for him to breathe. But a new device being researched at Mayo Clinic may help Ernie and other ALS patients breathe easier, longer. What I wanted to do is take a couple years off to build another house. That's just up in smoke now, so to speak. Ernie Lawrence lives with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. The neurodegenerative condition for which there is no cure weakens Ernie's muscles and slowly robs him of the use of his hands, arms, legs, and even his ability to breathe. I can't really designate what's the biggest problem with ALS. It's all a problem. You know, the, the un inability to walk real good or the thing to hold your hands or stuff like that. But the scariest thing is breathing. Your diaphragm works like these bellows. When it contracts, it causes a negative pressure and air is sucked into your lungs. When ALS weakens your diaphragm, your lungs don't fill up with air. You can't breathe well. Many patients need mechanical assistance either with non-invasive equipment or from a ventilator. But Mayo Clinic Dr. Kevin Boylan and surgeon Daniel Smith are teaming up with experts in the U.S. and Europe to study a device that may help people like Ernie breathe easier and stay off a ventilator longer. What we refer to it as doing is, is, is conditioning the muscle. During surgery, Dr. Smith attaches electrical wires to the diaphragm. These wires extend through the skin to an electronic stimulation device. When the device is turned on, the electrical current contracts the diaphragm, giving it a workout, making it stronger so it can function better. It used to be that only occasionally I could get what I'd call a good breath, a good deep breath, you know, real satisfying breath. And lately, I, I can get two or three in a row. The device works for Ernie, and if the study proves positive, others with ALS may benefit too. Ernie turns the device on for 30 minutes, five times a day. Dr. Boylan says that this device will not stop the progression of ALS, but in a smaller study, the device appeared to help patients breathe on their own longer than if they had not used the device at all. Dr. Boylan hopes this technology will help improve the quality of life for many patients with ALS as they struggle with this disease. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.